Something's happened, Desmond. Abstergo has your dad. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. I always knew it would come to this. Just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. I mean, has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end. To see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world. Ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source. Leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want. For us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. Might be I'm risking my life, risking all our lives to save an asshole. But what else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. father on the upper level. Same place they kept you. There's an elevator bank down the hall. Try not to let them see you. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This? This was a bad idea. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue the subject, please. Where's my father? <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way. on him. He can't be far. Where the hell is he? It's okay. I do.
give me the apple. Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. What the hell was that? Where's Vidic? Fifth floor. Vidic's office is up ahead. You... You killed him! Daniel was like a son to me. A sickly son, perhaps, but one full of promise. He has come so much, and so well, and now you've taken him from me, from us. We want to help the world, Desmond, to save it from itself. But you keep getting the way. All our hard work ruined. You're a fanatic of all your kind. Maintaining the erroneous belief that we are evil, that the work we do is wrong. We enrich lives here. We save and transform them. But you just keep taking and take what is at yours! Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No! never should have come here. You put everything on the line. For what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah.
I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. The tides of war are turning. The Loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army, their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace, and I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation, and through it, peace. Connor, he's asking for you. Hello, Connor. <gasps> Come now. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed, and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives... All are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. Connor, I came as soon as I could. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. Charles Lee may have been dismissed. But it does not mean we are safe. But the commander? The commander underestimates the threat, and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what, exactly? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly. So I will go under instead. Incroyable. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever.
Lafayette promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without fear. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship and a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose, hmm? And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. Now what would you have me do? Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from your town. Is us. I only hope the Admiral's quick to return. Enemy approaching! All right, boys! Make ready for war! Looks like they're coming to sail us! Ready yourself! Aye, aye! We must hold the bay until they do. Oh, this is madness! You're alone and we're without reinforcements! to board them, is he? Has he lost his mind? He's going to get us all killed.
mad bastard. They say you took down that man of war all alone. Perhaps Lafayette did not exaggerate when he spoke of your abilities. As promised, my ships are yours to command. What do you require? Five of them must enter New York's harbor flying British flags. Wait, wait. I thought you might need some pirates killed or goods transported, and instead, you ask for us to... What, shell New York? No. Of course not. Ah. Only part of it. Explain yourself. I mean to infiltrate Fort George, but it is too well guarded. Cannon fire will breach its walls and scatter its guards. And a ship that flies the French flag could never get near it. You understand, then? Not at all. But a promise is a promise, even when made to a lunatic. I will light a signal fire when it is time for you to attack. Vous l'avez entendu, récupérez leurs drapeaux qu'on puisse les accrocher. Allez, vite Hello, Connor. Welcome back. Is everything in place Oui, Lafayette waits for you inside the tunnel beneath the city. A man of humble means who has worked to earn his place. He's a man of life who's less likely to be in a throne. All men in a throne. It is in our nature. Then what would you do? Ensure their leader is sterile. Without an heir? I don't know what to get. But it's no needs to quaff. Connor! This tunnel will take you into the military district. And the Admiral? He waits for you to light the signal. And then the strike begins. And we will be there as well. Charles! Gone. <sighs> Come now. You cannot hope to match me, Connor. All your skills, you are still but a boy, with so much left to learn. <sighs> Give me Lee! Impossible. He... <clears throat> is the promise of a better future. The sheep need a shepherd. He has been dismissed and censured. He can do nothing for you now. A temporary setback. He will be restored.
You act as though you have some right to judge. And yet everything I've shown you, all I've said and done... We did not harm your people! We did not support the crown! We were... Surrender, and I will spare you. Brave words from a man about to die. You fare no better. <laughs> Even when your kind appears to triumph, still we rise again. And do you know why? It's because the Order is born of a realization. We require no creed, no indoctrination by desperate old men. All we need is that the world be as it is. And this is why the Templars will never be destroyed. Don't think I have any intention of caressing your cheek and saying I was wrong. I will not weep and wonder what might have been. I'm sure you understand. Still, I'm proud of you in a way. You have shown great conviction, strength, courage, all noble qualities. I should have killed you long ago. We've got a problem. Haytham doesn't have the amulet anymore. But the temple's still sending data. There must be more to this story. Only one way to find out. My father is dead. Charles Lee now leads the Templar Order in his place. I see now why ours is an eternal war. For each piece taken from the board, another is placed upon it. Back and forth we go. Across the world. Across the ages. Some days mine feels an impossible task. But I cannot afford to be consumed with doubt. The people need me now more than ever. I must stop the Templars. I will kill Charles Lee.